On Monday, Austria will have a new chancellor, Karl Niehammer. Niehammer has been interior minister since January 2020. The 49-year-old longtime professional soldier and lieutenant is considered a hardliner, consistently defending Sebastian Kurz's tough stance on refugee policy. On Twitter, he endorsed Denmark's restrictive stance on migration, tweeting after a meeting with the Danish migration minister, Denmark is an ally of Austria when it comes to fighting illegal migration. Niehammer studied political communication and is considered well-connected in the Austrian People's Party. After the terrorist attack in Vienna on the 2nd of November 2020, Nehammer was blamed for failures of the Federal Office for the Protection of the Constitution and Counterterrorism, which reported to him as head of the Interior Ministry. Four people were killed and 23 injured. Nehammer admitted mistakes by his authorities. And here have Everyone has certainly worked to the best of their ability, he said. But the fact is that the terrorists managed to fool the justice system's de-radicalization program, to fool the people in it and get an early release through this. Nehammer takes over Austria in the midst of the coronavirus crisis, but says he's looking forward to the new task he was already responsible for various lockdowns as interior minister. It is Austria's sixth chancellor in six years who is sworn in today in Vienna. Karl Nehammer, the previous minister of the interior, replaces Alexander Schallenberg, who was in office for barely two months. This renewed change of chancellor was triggered by the now final political withdrawal of Sebastian Kurz. New chancellor Karl Nehammer is considered a hardliner. The 49-year-old Viennese is a trained professional soldier and constantly engages in anti-migration rhetoric. Ensuring security in the country is also a major concern for the conservative politician of the Austrian People's Party. No policy reversal is to be expected with him on Austria's anti-COVID measures. With a full lockdown and the announced vaccine mandate, the Alpine Republic is currently pursuing one of the toughest approaches in Europe. And while the recently registered record infection numbers have now been cut in half, resentment among the population is growing at the same time. Once again, more than 40,000 opponents of the measures took to the streets in Vienna this weekend. Five police officers were injured during clashes with demonstrators. And whether the frequent change of chancellor is the best tactic against the ever-growing division in Austrian society remains to be seen. Johannes Blechberger, Euronews, Vienna.